Hey yo, what's good fam? It's another computer video. I bet you didn't see that coming, did ya? Bet not. If you haven't already hit that subscribe button, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because today's video, I'm gonna be explaining the difference between GPU, CPU, and how it affects frame rate. Anyways, I also have a benchmark app that I downloaded on my computer recently. It helps to really show the graphics card capability as well as the GPU capability and CPU capability. So we're gonna be taking a look at that and then uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video because it's pretty cool. I've heard great things about it. I just haven't viewed it myself, so I don't think there's any audio on this, but we're just gonna see how this rolls because I don't really know. It basically tests like the, the max points of what the computer can handle. So for those of you who are new to this channel, basically I had this viral video that uh, it's got almost 100,000 views on it, which, <laughs> you know, not to brag, but it's pretty freaking awesome. I'm not gonna lie. And it's about a computer. It's about a Digital Storm Lynx level 4 computer. So those of you who were wondering what kind of computer I have, it's a Digital Storm Lynx level 4, which is $2,000. Please stop asking me how much it costs, what level is it, blah, 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 blah. Okay, I just said it. And I've said it in multiple videos too, so please just listen to the videos and watch all the way through. It really helps me so I don't have to repeat myself in every video and then make every video last longer than it needs to be, honestly. So let's go ahead and get into this video. It's this benchmark test. I'm excited to see what it looks like because, to be honest, games only use a certain percentage of your GPU, your CPU, and your graphics card. So, well, and your motherboard too. So, you know what? There's a lot of things that are within the system that handle everything. So, this one is called uh, Heaven Benchmark. So, this thing is insane. This is what one of the Digital Storm people recommended, like the employees recommended. So, I think it's just a matter of running. Um, it doesn't look like. So, I, I, this part I can't do full screen, unfortunately. So, what you guys are seeing is what you guys are seeing. Now, let's just run this. So, resolution, full screen is. Oh, okay. So, full screen is clicked on. Resolution is. We're just going to put it to whatever the system is. Is. I know 1920 by 1080 is what it's normally supposed to be because uh, 2560 by 1440 is like 2k I believe or 4k something like that for a monitor it's insane so we're just gonna do what the system can do because that's what I've had it on default and that's what they had on default so anti-aliasing I don't know how to say it either way we don't need to have that on three two one it's running Okay, so it's loading. All right, sick. Again, this is gonna pretty much, I think, like max out the capability of the GPU C. Wow. Bro, this looks sick. So as you guys can see in the top right corner, right now I'm getting about 220 FPS. Now it's over 250. So it's different things that are giving me different FPSs, but I do have a 2070 RTX GeForce graphics card, so keep that in mind. It's a really nice graphics card. It says the GPU, uh, I think it's the GPU temperature. Maybe it's the graphics card temperature. It says 65 degrees Celsius. And wow, these graphics are so freaking nice. Holy. So... This is without the anti-aliasing, aliasing, I don't know how you say it, I'm not gonna lie, I don't know how to say it. Even if you tell me once or twice, I'm not gonna know. As you guys can see, it's really, really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna see the quality. So, this quality is on the high right now, so let's go to Ultra and just see what it looks like. I don't really see a difference. Wow. Yo, this thing looks sick. <laughs> Okay, so most of you are gonna wonder like, wow, are we gonna get these graphics in Fortnite or COD? Here's the thing, so Fortnite, not really, because Fortnite, the way their game is set up, it's not going to successfully make it this crystal clear and nice kind of thing, if, you know what I'm saying? It's just not gonna make it this really well detailed, because it's a, it's a, that kind of game. It's, it's one of those games that they don't really focus on the detail, they really focus on the layout instead, if you know what I mean by that. They don't focus on like crystal clear, like detail, like benchmark things do. You can see the trees, leaves, everything in here. If you were to play COD, you were to, you would see 
every crystal clear detail because they really focus on the detail. Now, I will go on Fortnite to show you guys what FPS I get, and then I'll do COD and show you guys the FPS for that. So, obviously, you guys can see it's quite nice. So, if you guys think this is all clickbait and not real, you guys can actually go download on the internet. I think it's called Heaven Benchmark because that's what I'm seeing right here. It's called Heaven Benchmark 4.0. So, maybe you'll be able to find it. I don't know. Uh, but now it's time to go ahead and check out Fortnite because I know most of you are wondering what kind of FPS and frame rate and everything do you get on Fortnite. So those of you who are really wondering what CPU and GPU stand for, it's basically CPU really is for the central processing unit which basically handles latency, so low latency types. And then GPU is more for like the graphics card kind of like units, so it handles the high throughputs, if you guys know what that is, I'm not familiar with it. It's basically GPU's graphics card, CPU is motherboard and all that stuff, and that's pretty much why you need good GPU and CPU to run a game. So now we are on Fortnite. The bottom right hand corner, you guys can see, uh, I'm running about 240 FPS now. Download speed, I or, or, so download FPS I think it is, is about 200 and then it's 240 uh, upload. FPS, I think it is, or maybe that's megabytes. I think that's megabytes, and then download megabytes, upload megabytes, I think. It's a little confusing, because then it says 240 FPS. I'm not lying to you guys, it is 240 FPS. Now, in-game, it may be a little bit lower just because of it's a game running. Right now, it's fine how it is. Uh, and believe me, just because it goes under 240 FPS doesn't mean it's bad. Like, you will get flawless frame rate. Either way, if you have a, a 144 hertz, 240 hertz, so even if you have 160 FPS, it's not going to matter because you have a good frequency of a monitor that's going to be able to, to make a good refresh rate and that's the good thing. So you have to look out for that when you're getting a monitor. That's not the PC. Let me clarify on that. So we had enough of Fortnite. Okay, so now we're going to be on COD. So I don't know how many of you play COD, but uh, if you do, we're going to see this one because honestly, Call of Duty, I've gotten frames of well over 2,000 somehow, which I don't even understand, but it just happened. I'm not even sure if you can really tell how many frames you're running. Usually I think I'm running 150 on COD, but I don't understand why because... Now, I run however much I do on Fortnite on COD, and COD, in my opinion, has more detail than what Fortnite does, so that's just my overall opinion. As you see in the top right corner, uh, COD's a little weird, so I'll show you my settings, because this is really, in my opinion, weird. So my render resolution is 100, so that's really nice. So as you guys can see, the you know, it, it renders really, really nicely. I got a 1920 by 780 because that's what my thing runs. So now, this is the weird part, is that in graphics, when... Let's see if I can find this again, because... I don't know where it was. Okay, so custom frame rate. So mine is custom. Um, you could do unlimited, which is, uh, you know, you probably should do that. Normally what I do is a custom frame rate, which is 240 FPS. But unfortunately for the menu right now, I'm only getting about 144, which kind of sucks. But then again, it's not that bad because if you think about it, it's just the menu. So it's like nobody really cares. But if you're really trying to look for something, it's a matter of you want it in game. So what you want is the FPS on COD to be in game. So personally, I mean, I'm not going to show you guys end game of what the FPS is because I don't want to end up playing a game and then blah blah blah. It's set to 240. So whether or not I actually get 240 on COD, it's a matter of the game's quality and game can handle it. I think it can, but whatever. I get 144 FPS on here and as you guys can see my GPU is 79 degrees which isn't too good because it should be around 60 I think. Then my GPU time is, it should be around 5 I think. CPU time should definitely be 1 but it's at 3 and 4, so I don't know what's happening. Good thing I don't have any packet loss yet, because I've had that multiple times so far. Uh, latency, obviously, I'm not in-game. I'm just in the main menu, so it's not going to give you anything. All right, guys, so that's going to be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you did enjoy actually seeing the genuine product of what this computer can handle in terms of not only the GPU, the CPU, and the graphic card capability on the benchmark, but as well as not only seeing it in Fortnite, but as well as in COD, then leave a like on this video and subscribe because I'm not going to give you guys false information and make you believe something and then end up purchasing it and finding out, oh my god, he lied to me. Just because I want to be something and have this vision and I have a computer that I want to let you guys in on as a real world kind of person, like I'm real, I, I'm a human just like you guys, so I, I'm not going to lie to you guys and say that it's a good computer and then end up finding out it's not. So I personally love the computer. The computer is beautiful. It can handle 200 40 FPS, no problem. You want to run 360? I don't know why you would, but it 
probably can handle that too. So guys, you also need to remember that just because you have 240 FPS does not mean it's going to be smooth. You have to make sure that that refresh rate, which is the frequency or the hertz, it has to be at least 144. That's basically the baseline for a good gaming computer, and after that, it just gets to 240, Then I think it's like 350 or 360. It's going to give you a more flawless and seamless image. And then some monitors actually have what's called 3D Vision, AMD FreeSync, and they also can have uh, G-Sync, which is basically a, it's an internal component that the monitors have so that there's not so many rips and tears in the frames. So the naked eye, obviously you guys won't see it, but when you play, you will definitely see it, if that makes any sense. From a glance, you won't see it, but from actual gameplay, you will. Remember, 10,000 subscriber giveaway at the end of this year. If we hit it sooner, that's even better. But uh, my goal is for the end of this year so we can get like a little bit of time frame. Uh, we're, this channel's grown at a really good rate right now. So thank you guys. So guys, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.